Hey. Oh my God, Jackie! Yeah, Bracky. Now, I know I'm going to be missed, but I'm going to bed. Good for you. Uh -huh. You're not missing anything out here. You stay in your in your. Listen, I don't care if I stay asleep for four oh days. God. Once in a while, I'll take my pulse to see if I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. Oh. Now, number one, we just had a divine dinner, but it was, there's something missing. And what we should have with dinner every day would eat be, champagne's a very nice idea, or some lovely Chardonnay wine. And then, it's very nice, we don't have to read newspapers and TV and this, but how about sending in a lovely harpist, who you can gag her, she won't talk, and to play a nice song for us while we dine. Jackie, Big Brother has noted your request. However, uh, uh, champagne, chardonnay, wine, and all alcohol is provided at Big Brother's discretion. I understand it's at his discretion, but I'm giving you a legitimate reason why we should have it at our discretion. Everything's at their discretion. We understand that. But now at our discretion, we would like to have a glass of wine with our dinner. We had a great meal and some soft music just for dinner. Now, you can certainly pipe in a harpist. The harp music is very lovely. And this sort of inspires us. It gives us something to talk about. And also, we're adding some culture to this place. There's no culture here this place and that your public audience who basically turns on the TV to be enhanced. They got a dull life at home. They don't have to look at eight dull people. They said that I would be with eight of the most brilliant people in England. I was hoping you'd have someone like Bill Gates here. They talk about uh, frankly nothing. Actually, the nice, cute little boy talks about nothing. No one's talking about anything. Jackie, you were told before you left Los Angeles that Bridget would be in the house. How do you feel now that you're here? I think she's lovely. I mean, I have nothing against her. She married to my son. That's their problem. I didn't make so many great choices myself. It didn't work. It's like going to a bum movie. It's a mismatch. But the fact is, she's very lovely. She just cooked dinner today and a very fine dinner. I couldn't do it. She said she's cooking another dinner tomorrow. She's been very kind to me. That isn't the issue. I am not sitting here to talk about Bridget. I'm sitting here to talk about enhancing my own life, which would consist of a bottle of wine for my lunch. I insist on a glass of wine with my dinner, and I don't care what the hell he sends at nighttime. That's not my issue. They ought to give us brandy so we sleep nice. I mean, that's the answer. Uh, wouldn't hurt Big Brother to learn a little bit about culture. Okay. Okay, and thank you, Jackie. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Dermot, I know you like your wine. You're a very fine gentleman yourself. Jackie wouldn't eat a meal unless she had her wine, her Chardonnay there. Do you feel a connection there? There's definitely affinity with me, myself, <laughs> obviously. And I think this series in particular gave us so many iconic lines as well. The sheer fact that Jackie Stallone walked into the diary room to ask Big Brother to provide a harpist for dinner. I. The fact that that was normal, and when Big Brother questioned her, she just goes, well, couldn't you have a harpist or something? Like, that was normal. <laughs> this is a woman after everyone's hearts. A harpist at dinner with a glass of Chablis.